This is the Ace Magic W1 Mini PC. Recently did a video on it. I'm a big fan of mini PCs, and so far of the ones I've tested on the channel, this one's definitely my favorite. In my original video, I ran some benchmarks, tested some games, but didn't try any emulation. So today I thought I'd try the top tier for emulation, PS3, because if it could run PS3, you know it could run everything else or almost everything else. First, let's review the specs of this mini PC. It's got a Ryzen 7 255 with Radeon 780M graphics. It's got 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. I'm gonna be using the RPCS3 emulator. It's an open source PS3 emulator. It's been quite a while since I tried PS3 emulation. So let's go ahead and get all this downloaded. Now, this isn't gonna be a tutorial or anything, but setting this up really isn't too bad at all. Obviously, I'm gonna download the emulator, then make sure you grab, uh, I'm gonna grab the PS3 firmware, and of course, make sure you get your PS3 ROMs or games. I already had some on an external hard drive, but I can't tell you where to find them, but of course, Google is your friend. All right, so I got the emulator downloaded. Now I'm gonna install the firmware real quick. So I'm just gonna to go to install firmware here and uh, find uh, the firmware. I think I have it down here. There's the file. And I'm just gonna hit open. And there we go. And now you're just gonna let this load up. Uh, should take about a minute or two usually. All right, as you can see, I added some games here. Now, these are just games I happen to have on my external hard drive. I downloaded these probably, you know, probably a while ago, probably like a year ago. So let's test a few of these out. Uh, first thing I'm going to try out is Little Big Planet. And I have the resolution set here for 1080p, and I'm using Vulkan. Planet Earth. So unfortunately, this one I never got up and running. Um, I got just got stuck on this loading screen. You know, it got stuck there for quite some time. I closed out the emulator, then tried it again. Still got the same thing. So um, let's move on to another game. All right, so let's try Moto GP 15 here. All right, so this one was actually interesting because I'm actually able to play the game, but you can see the graphics are just not right. They're messed up with all these like red dots and red lines along the track and really just all over the place. However, I can play the game. So uh, this one isn't quite there yet. A more powerful computer will probably be able to run it, but uh, this Ryzen chip just can't do it. Now I'm going to try a fighting game. So let's try a uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. And we're having a hard time playing through the intro here. Street Fighter Cross Tekken! All right, so I am able to scroll through the main menu here. Uh, I was able to choose a, a fighter, but once the game tried to load in and actually crash, I tried it two times and uh, unfortunately it just uh, would not play. And you can actually see on the top left, it comes up and it says uh, the PS3 application has likely crashed. All right, so far, not much luck. Let's try another fighting game, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Batman. 
Batman. Round one. Fight. Alright, so as you guys can see, this one was a success. Alright, next up is Transformers Devastation. What in the world is all of this? Wheeljack, come in. Is this Cybertronian technology? I think so, Optimus. They're creating hurricane force winds like they're trying to sweep the city clear. Whatever their purpose, there is more to the situation than meets the eye. Alright, so Transformers did pretty well. Next up is Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. So this one ran pretty well. I uh, kept the volume down on this here because, you know, there's some music playing in the background. And, you know, you never know about um, copyright strikes or anything like that. So uh, that's why I just have the volume lowered on this. But as you can see, runs pretty good getting 60 FPS here. Next game I tried was Killzone 2, and unfortunately could not get this one to work. Um, you know, the menu loaded in, the screens loaded in, but once you try to actually play the game, uh, you'll see the screen that I get. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, no go for this game.
All right, so that's the PS3 emulator on the Ace Magic W1 mini PC. Struggled with some games, but was able to play some others. Of course, this is just a small sample, but just thought some people might be interested in how this thing performs with PS3. If you know of any settings that I can change up to improve performance, please let me know in the comments. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.